Hey everybody, this is Sea Devils 2. Uh, this is my Let's Play of Dire Wolf 20's mod pack for 1.12. Uh, and I did a couple things in between. I upgraded all my stuff to bronze, so since I can now fly, we and even if I drop, I don't take any damage because the ring absorbs it. Uh, let's see, there was a couple things I want to get rid of. Get rid of the leather pants, that, because I got attacked by a few things. Um, Signalium, that, I got the mob. Okay, yesterday I got this up and running. Well, I got this set up. And a reminder again, the mob crusher crushes their essence. It crushes their souls. And pumps it into this tank here. Uh, the tank then pumps it over. And it goes right up into there. And really, you're still shooting at me, dude. Okay, whatever. Um, pumps the essence in there so that it can now create wither skeletons. A wither skeleton farm now, along with uh, you know a regular mob farm because you need the mob farms to generate the essence to generate the wither skeletons. Um, but there's this wonderful thing here where I've got experience in there that could be converted to essence. Unfortunately, uh, we have a conversion for Minecraft uh, for industrial foregoing, and if I look at the essence right here, the fluid dictionary. And I've been spelling industrial for going wrong. Wow, i got to go back and edit that. Um, but basically, you can take anything. Fluid XP from Mob Grinder Tales to turn it into Essence. Uh, it does not go the other way around, which is a shame. But uh, anyway, three plastic, glass, some buckets of iron gear, machine frames. So I just need to make a couple of iron gears. Um, so I'll just whip up some more iron blocks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get that going. Then we'll get uh, two pieces of glass, a machine frame. What else was it I needed? Uh, oh, I only needed one iron gear. I needed. Oh. Sugar. One, two, three, four. That'll work. Um, so I need another piece. I need two more iron. One, two, there we go. Two buckets. Machine frame, two glass. Anything else I need? I think that's it. Oh, three plastic. Of course, I only have two plastic. Did I? I made some more up where I said. There we go. 28 sheets of plastic. Um, and that gear, is that gear done? Yes, gear, okay. Um, just pop this in here. And there's the fluid dictionary. Now I'm going to need some fluid ducts. I think that'll work. It's a filter. Uh, probably going to need some servo. A servo. Da, 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 da. Of course I don't have servos. Uh, four iron, four iron nuggets, two pieces of glass, uh, and another piece of redstone, another piece of redstone. Um, that's all I need. And this time I did the nuggets right. Um, yay! Now what this should do, if I do it correctly, if, oops, wrong one. If it's done, if I'm correct, um, it should be able to take, um, let's see. I'll put fluid duct, you know, we can't put a fluid duct there because that's there. Um, and do, do, do. Uh, disconnect that. Mm -hmm. Do, do, 
do okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, stop that. Stop connecting. One, two. Okay, good. That's not connecting. Anything. Okay, so what we want to do here. Okay. Essence of knowledge. Fluid XP buckets. Oh, we can. Nice. Output. Um, where's the front on us? Hmm. Really? Stop stealing it. Really can't stand it because it keeps stealing it. So, okay, so that's the front. So what we're going to do here, input is from the up. Output is from the back. And then let's put in some servos. Servo there, servo there. So let's turn this one on, see what happens. Okay, it's filling up. Woohoo! Um, fluid XP. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. Active on redstone. That that was a, that was a mistake. Big mistake there. <coughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Can I? Nope, can't do that either. All right, so what happens if I break it? And you grab it again. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Let's well, active on redstone. So we want fluid XP bucket. Essence bucket. All right. So why is it not convert? Oh, because I didn't turn on. Yay! Now if I turn this on, do you pump it out? Yes, you pump it out. Sweet. All righty. That's exactly what I need. Now it's gonna fill up. That's all filled up. Filled up. Filled up. Yay! And that's gonna fill up. So that's gonna. All right. So, this means I no longer need to use this and that. Well, I could get rid of that. Mm. Mm. But this is useful because this kills quickly and easily. Well, the other one's pretty passive, and it doesn't use any power either. Arr. We have a choice. Anyway, because of this block, we get to convert our XP into essence. So we have a, oh, a huge supply now. Uh, and in fact, if I turn this on, even with the light on, this will still spawn. One. Come on, let's get some heads. I want heads. Why am I not getting heads? Getting necrotic bones, wither dust. Or how much it's using? 960. I think it's using. Alright. So it uses. 220 or 240. 340. Now it uses 180. 180. Okay. Alright, well, we're almost, we're almost done out of that. Now, are you generating any essence? Yeah, you are. You're generating a bit of essence. 
Uh, why is it not getting any hits? This is why I think I'm going to have to stop using the mob crusher, because I don't know the mob crusher, I don't believe, it gives me hits. It just gives me stuff. Which is okay. I mean, it's fine. It gives me lots of good stuff, but... Um... That's still got some essence in there. Now let's turn this servo off. Okay, that'll start. So I need essence. No, it's. Why is it still pumping stuff out? It shouldn't be doing that. All right, well, take it out. Oh, I see. I guess it just auto outputs it. Well, maybe it just auto outputs it. No, it's stacking it up now. And you don't always get eight essence. That's interesting. Why are you getting essence? Hmm. Interesting. See, I like that better because it picks up everywhere through the floor. Okay, well, you know what? Let's stop this then. Momentarily stop that. Say none. Are you getting heads? Oh, you got you did get one with a skeleton skull. So they are dropping stuff. You are building up fluid essence. You are converting. Yay! All right, you have done converting. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go get our other. Okay, so proof of concept, it works, and I'll get that. So let's go turn that off. Okay, turn that off. Um, oh, let's see how much power did I use. Come on. Whoop. And round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Did I use any appreciable amount of power? No, I did not. Hardly even made it tick over. Still have 24, still have 23. I didn't even make the thing tick over. Okay, so hardly used any energy at all. Alrighty. Okay. So, now that we've got that, we can convert essence and knowledge and all that. That's great. <sighs> I'm thinking I may need to set up my own room for that. So I could easily duplicate that and have pipe the essence over there. Because um, well, I've got solidified I've, uh, experience as well. Mm, yeah, that's going to be a restructure job, I think. I think I'm going to redo this room. Um, I've got another drop of evil, so I can just trash that room. Or maybe I'll just leave that as that and rebuild it. Yeah, I think when I'll move these around, I'll get some organization going. But anyway, that's another industrial foregoing machine. Now, uh, here we go. And now that I'm safe. And there were some other things that I wanted to look into doing. Such as resource production. I've already done the water condensator. Block biker, the block placer, the laser base, and laser drill are very interesting machines because they make ores out of nothing. Um, I'm going to make a couple of material stonework factories in the future. Um, and there's the fluid dictionary conversion. Resourceful furnace. Three hours I'm on. Huh, that's interesting. Um, but there, is, there are some items. 
arrange add-ons, upgrades. But for Mar <coughs> for Mars, the next thing I want to do is a villager, trader, trade extender. A mob imprisonment tool with a villager in it, where you'll get access to automatically trade with the villager. Well, that's kind of useful, but not. Eh, depends on the villager, really. But, I mean, it's safer than going to running to a village, but. Um, let's see what else we can do. Generators. The lava fabricator. Oh, large amounts of power will produce lava. Don't need that. Uh, actually, addition does a much better job of it. Um, agriculture. This is the next thing I want to get into. Um, I want to get into getting a uh, stable source of food because uh, you know wheat and stuff is a, isn't going to work that well. Uh, the hydrator. Uh, Will provide the power. Oh, so it's kind of like okay, it's kind of like fertilizing. Uh, the plant gatherer, yes, I've worked with that before. Okay, and then we need the plant sower. So the first one we'll do is get the plant sower going. Die! I should have slept through the night. Do do do. Okay. All right. First of all, the plant sower. All right. Where? Oh. The plant sower. Two plastic, a flower pot, so I need some clay. I got a machine for him. I need two iron gears, so let's get some iron gears going. Oh, um, I guess I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Hang on. Uh, trash can. Um, other boots can go away. <sighs> uh, some of those stuff can stay here. See, gunpowder. Uh, that, necrotic bone, drop of evil. Um, alright, let's get rid of that. Um, I made some more cold coke. We can pop that in there. Got some more slag out of that. Let's put away some of our other things. Pipes. Alright, and then uh, we need put away signalium. I need some more iron. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get a gear, two gears. What was it again? Redstone, two pistons. I think I actually have it. Two pistons. Redstone. Flower pot. I need clay bricks. Do I have just clay bricks? Nope. I can get it real quick. Um, slag, I'll just put it here for now. And blocks, I'll just put you in there. So let the experience you go there. Oh, I forgot how long these things take to cook. Come on, two. Uh, well, you know what? Once this should be done by now. Oh, no, it's still cooling. Oh, uh, yeah, it does take... I forgot iron does take a long time to cook. Uh, flower pot? Hey, I got a flower pot. What I think I'll do is I'll sew it in here. Now I'm going to need an extender range. So let's see what we've got to go for. Alright. Uh, oh, I need a machine frame. Last one. Gonna have to make some more. Okay, now the fun, this is a fun thing. Unfortunately, you have to plant it a little low. So you basically you can't just plant it on the surface. Uh, you have to plant it one level down here, and then stick it in the ground. Turn on the area. That's what it grows. One spot. But we need more than one spot. So we're going to go and look up what they have for items. Item stand transfer. 
range add-on. So we're looking for the range add-on. Now there's a bunch of them. Uh, we have everything from tier zero, which is stone, to lapis lazul, and the tier basically tells you how far out it goes. Tier 11 ele increases the range by 11. We don't want to go that far. I think we just want to go for uh, silver. Is that silver? No, that's tin. That's tin. Iron. Copper. Bronze. Uh, that's bronze. That's tier 5. So that would give me a lot. Oh, uh, you know what? We got copper. Let's, uh, we have copper. Yes, we have six coppers. Uh, really? And some stained glass. Do I have some stained glass? I, th I hope I have. Do I have? Okay, it's any stained glass. So, I know I've got stained glass somewhere around here. I had to make stained glass. I know I did. Yep, yellow stained glass. And two pieces of plastic, so let's do this copper. Yep. And we'll see what we get. Now, mind you, all the other upgrades that go to this also have to be done. Oh no, that's a nice size. Oh, that's that's a nice size. In fact, that's exactly the same size as the actual editions one. I like that. Now it's also you'll see color-coded in quadrants. So, once it's powered, it'll sew in those quadrants. Oh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, worked it out. Got the upgrade here for copper. Gives me exactly the same size as the actual editions. Um, I can put worms down if I so choose. Um, that should work fine. Uh, hydration is a problem. Uh, I throw a block on there just to hydrate most of the area because as you can see it's actually five spaces. It's four spaces out. So maybe I should have gone one lower because then I could have run... I don't know, I'll just put water around it because here this water will hydrate all around here. It'll hydrate uh, this outer row here. One, two, four. And then I'll put something over here, probably. So yeah, it'll work out. Um, yeah, because that'll only reach over to here. But anyway, anyway, that's the wheat that's growing. Next on the list to things to make is the collector, and that would be uh, maybe it's called crop. No, harvester. No. Okay, what's it called? Um, sure, enchantment applicator, breaker, book producer, plant fertilizer, plant gatherer, that's what it is. Um, yeah, lots of iron. Gonna need a tin gear and two gold gears. <coughs> need more gold. Uh, ten. Mm -hmm. All righty. And let's see. Start with the gold first, because that goes pretty quick. I don't think gold and tin make anything, but I'll hold off just in case. <coughs> uh, oh, I got eggs and seeds. Uh, oh, and the other thing you have to do, you want to lock this, otherwise it will, um, oh, that's right, it will try and plant stuff elsewhere if you don't lock it. But, okay, that's the gold. And get the tin going. Yep, okay. Come on. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to need four iron, four glass. I have it in gear already. Wish I'd have known that. All right, it's the frame, the gears. I need some redstone. Um, crop plate gather, and I need oh, two axes and a hoe. Hoe, 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 hoe. Have any more wood? Yes, I do. And two axes. One, two. All right, gatherer. Iron hoe. Oh, dang it. Oh well. All right. Well, in that case, I'll just get rid of that. I don't need. Don't need that around. Plant gatherer, yay! Now this also, I'll set it right there. Yay, now has that. It faces this way, and it gathers exactly one spire, <laughs> one, one block. Exactly one block. So, uh, all right. So we have to do the same thing again. We need six copper. Five, six copper. Um, tier four, yes. Uh, a stained glass and two plastic. Another piece of stained glass, and voila, we have a rain jet on. It will now collect in the exact same area. <sighs> All right, I've got to put up a fence because these guys are gonna really bother me. But, uh, yeah, now it will collect. We'll come back and check on that in, in a little while. Let me turn off that. Uh, hide. Gathering anything. Gathering trees. Gathering plants. Gathering. Oh, that's a new feature. That was not there. You know, I think I may put this in a test world and actually uh, do a quick tutorial on each of the machines. Um, and they look interesting now. Now I've noticed something also, the mineral saplings can't grow if they're too close to each other. Which, well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's the way the mod author intended it. Anyway, uh, since the last episode ran long, I'm going to cut this one short, because I got pretty much accomplished some decent things today. Um, and I'm thinking I'll probably put out a tutorial in the next week or so on Mine Factory uh, Industrial Foregoing. Uh, because it's, it is, has some very handy features in there. Little, little idiosyncrasies, like thing, you know, you can only drain fluids out of the bottom and stuff like that, but, um, anyway, uh, this is CW2, and thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Please feel free to like or comment on the video below. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it, but, uh, it's not really necessary. And, anyway, I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.